Another common thing that I usually fine tune on my machine once I get going is my balance. When I'm welding something like an outside corner, something where I'm welding with overall a lot less amount of amperage, I'm usually gonna tend to turn up the positive side of my AC cycle. Some machines are better at adjusting the balance to the amperage that you're welding at, but from my experience, the machine that I learned on, my tungsten would always tend to misshape and crack when welding at low amperage, simply because the AC cycle did not provide enough positive side to clean the tip of the tungsten. So what I would always do is turn my positive side up a little bit more. It would provide more cleaning action back towards the tungsten. It would maintain a better ball on the end of tungsten for a much longer time. When I'm welding at high amperage, so thick fillet welds and stuff like that, I will definitely tend to dial my positive side of my cycle down a little bit. So I'll be running more negative. Anytime I have too much positive side of the cycle at high amperage, you will see the tungsten's tip starting to flutter. Even if you have a decent sized ball on the end of the tungsten, it will become unstable under high amperage. What this means is you're running too much positive side of the AC cycle. When you turn your positive down a little bit, so you're running a little more negative, you can weld at much higher temperatures and keep a more stable tungsten tip. Plus, more negative side usually means there's a little more penetration, at least in some circumstances, directed on the weld zone. This is one small setting that you can adjust to get a little more life out of your tungsten, as well as provide a little bit more penetration possibly with some joints you'll do. Another thing you can adjust, and this is only a setting that you can adjust on an inverter type machine, is the frequency. Running a higher frequency will tighten your arc cone up significantly, as well as concentrating all of your heat into a smaller area. A lower frequency will provide a wider arc cone, which will provide eh, more general heat distribution to the weld zone area. These are just some ways that you can fine tune your machine to get you different results for different uses.